Thank you for tuning into another newly listed on the CSC clip. Today, I am talking to Chris Bolton, and Chris is the founder and CEO of a very interesting company called Sprout AI Incorporated. What is the vision behind this company? Well, the vision uh, has been in process for years now. With COVID being <clears throat> kind of the instigator of, of the final breaks and cracks uh, in food supply chain, uh, it became relevant uh, for us to finish what we had started. And that is to provide in-house vertical grow tech that's scalable, of which we plan, design, implement, and manage those facilities wherever they need to be. It could be a local northern community. It could be here we are in our head office uh, close to the equator uh, in Panama, right within a warehouse structure. But the product that we produce is identical to wherever we are and do it in a scale that makes sense. It's, it's designed to grow, uh, pun intended, uh, to a very large facility or kept small, depending on the needs of the local market. Now, we subscribe to a principle that we developed in-house called REPS. Uh, all of our technology is designed to be repeatable, economic, practical to use and operate, scalable, safe, and secure. We are subscribed to an EU GMP compliance standard, uh, which is the highest level of food production. It is designed to bring leafy greens, microgreens, and we're in development now of mushrooms and berries with also the, the uh, opportunity to do herbals and uh, plant-based medicines, of course, we're very good at that, uh, to be able to bring these products to market uh, in a way that ensures uh, the outcome is repeatable and accepted. Chris, I'm actually a bit curious on why you and your team chose to go the public route with Sprout AI. Well, the timing's perfect. Uh, we're in a market, uh, as you saw, for indoor uh, cultivation that's ramping up exceptionally quickly. Why? Because the pressure is on uh, to get closed loop supply chains in place. We have municipalities around the globe asking for RFPs to get closed loop supply chain in the city. Uh, to be able to do it, though, as an international company that we are, uh, we very much, of course, wanted to secure uh, capital as we begin our, our expansion of our locations and also be able to further develop our technologies even beyond where we are today. Uh, so the capital market obviously was, was the, the obvious choice for us. Uh, and with the market being so receptive to the fact that we are technology driven, we are agricultural driven, the fact that our projects are producing greenhouse gas offset opportunities, uh, that we are checking the boxes uh, for ESG, of course, uh, really resonated with the market and, and we were asked very quickly uh, to do what we did. So what's your background and how did you get into this? Hmm. Well, I am a, an old prosecutor uh, by profession when I first began my journey. Uh, I left uh, law five years into it and ever since I've been running international operations. Um, both in Canada and, and of course, internationally. Um, I've had the benefit of getting a broad breadth of industry experience, uh, including quite a host of methodologies that are perfectly applicable to what we're doing here. So it all thankfully came together uh, in, in a way that is what we'll call full turnkey. And that's not easy. Uh, there is a lot of, uh, of uh, details uh, under, under the wrapper. Uh, but uh, we have, as I said, been working very diligently at this starting uh, in the fall of uh, 2019 when we set up our version ones. Uh, at that time, uh, we had a little over 600 delegates uh, come and see what we were doing at our Center of Excellence. I'm sitting in here. Uh, and then from there, uh, scope and find projects internationally, uh, which will begin rolling out uh, in 2022. You obviously have uh, extensive background and experience to to helm this company and move it forward. What about some of your key team members? Are you able to comment on uh, any of your members that you've brought on board? We have an extraordinary team, absolutely extraordinary. Uh, we, and certainly my philosophy is, is we like to uh, adapt and, and work environments that are highly dynamic. And to do that, we need individuals that, if, if anyone has heard the term, are polymaths. A polymath is someone who has a broad range of experiences, uh, someone is able to solve complex problems by, as, as some of our, our former corporate founders would say, connect the dots. Uh, and what we, we began to do is looking for those key individuals uh, that do have international business experience, particularly 
that they are in manufacturing, customer service, and of course, in this case, uh, developing a perishable product. And it is very much our goal uh, to have projects on four continents by the end of 2022. Uh, with uh, what we have in Hopper already, that will get us there for sure. But the logistics of getting them on site, get them operating, get them audited and get final product to market uh, is no small task, I can tell you that. Uh, but I can't imagine uh, not having a better team than the one we have uh, to be able to accomplish that goal. What would you say, Chris, differentiates a company and team from Sprout AI, from some of your peers in this space? Well, we approached it um, perhaps from a very different direction um, than others had taken. The plan is, and what we've been able to demonstrate from day one, is that we can put a plan in, zip it up, come back and harvest it. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Let it do its thing uh, within its controlled environment. We're not putting humans into the equation that could contaminate the crop. We don't do that. Uh, we're growing without media, no soil, no compost, no substrate like cocoa coir. Growing with DI water with added nutrients that we know the plant wants. And we give it to the roots when they want it. The roots are growing in chambers that even root scientists that we've approached have not seen development like this before. It is unfettered. They're not constrained by the density of the soil. They're not constrained uh, by, by not being able to, to go down and across and all over. Our roots are free to grow in a highly oxygenated environment. It's called the rhizome in a way that allows it to optimize its take up of these nutrients. Increases yield, reduces cycle time to the point where we're very, very happy. Now on our website, uh, we do keep posting new plants, new species that we're cultivating uh, to show what we're doing. And we will uh, be announcing at least quarterly, if not annually, how we're improving cycle times on these batches, taking traditional crops from 55, 65 days, down to 30, down to 21 and, and below, being able to take yields and multiple the, the, the yield uh, increase by large magnitude percentages is really ultimately our goal. In the end, we have a very sustainable product. I know you mentioned earlier that the goal or the plan right now is four continents by 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Are there any other milestones that our audience members and possibly investors can look out for from you and your team in the coming months? Yeah, absolutely. And I will sit up to that. Uh, we, we are very much advancing our technology. Uh, we have learned a lot. Um, and as I said, the plants really surprised us. Um, and in speaking with plant science uh, uh, technicians and then root scientists, uh, what we're learning is unique. Uh, and, and we've done it in an environment where it can be observed, uh, whereas in other environments, not so much. Um, and the fact that, that we can have a rack now that operates each habitat has its own different crop each crop having its own temperature, root zone temperature, each crop having its own humidity, its lighting schedule, lighting intensities, means that, that we're really seeing outputs that no one, no one has been able to experience at that level before. Having, for example, in the near future, wasabi in one corner, blueberries in the upper left, with a mushroom like a portobello in the upper right, and bottom left-hand corner is basil, uh, is, is in the same facility on the same rack that takes up virtually no space uh, it is something that, that no one uh, has been able to do effectively. Chris, where can our viewers and audience members go to read up more on your technology, your team? Because I, I truly feel that you know, our, our viewers should go to your website to take a look at the technology, read up more on it, as well as your team. Well, thank you so much for that and that offer. Uh, our website is uh, sproutai.solutions, not .com, not .org, .solutions. Uh, we also have beyondfarming.com. Solutions uh, isn't easy to remember. Uh, because we do feel we are well beyond farming now, that's another good address to use. On, on that website, uh, we have a number of tabs, including the investor tab to learn more about the company and ESG uh, requirements, for, for example. But we also have a tab called COE. That's our center of excellence. And that one is a forever update of the different crops that we're cultivating currently, so you can see them grow. Uh, we also have uh, 3D video uh, as to what our facilities look like. We have interviews uh, with our choice best-in-class, best-of-breed technology partners 
at the presidential level typically. So you can see that. Uh, and as we evolve with uh, new projects, new uh, technology developments, that's the best place to go. Um, and it is multilingual. Uh, it's designed to be that. So uh, do not feel it can only be in English way, for example. Well said. Uh, Chris, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to join me today, not only to educate myself, but our audience members on Sprout AI. We at the CSE wish you and your team nothing but success in the coming months, and we, we, we will be watching you closely as you grow. Well, I really appreciate, again, the opportunity to be here today. As you can tell, uh, I'm passionate about our project. Our team is super passionate about our project. And stay tuned, as, I, as my team would say. Uh, just watch us. Watch us now. Perfect. To our members watching, uh, this has been a newly listed on the CSE clip with Chris Bolton. He is the founder and CEO of Sprout AI. I'm Anil Mall. Again, I represent the Canadian Securities Exchange. And thank you for watching newly listed on the CSE. Fantastic. Thank you, Anil. Thank you for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.